Okay guys, so I bought this stock back on June 11th, okay, I first bought it on June 11th. I bought it several times since as it's been moving up, okay, that was nine weeks ago. Total, okay, total investment has been $99,000 and right now today as we speak at the time that I'm filming this video, it's worth $207,000. What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna to talk about this stock that I'm super excited about This went up 109% in the last nine weeks. If you know what stock I'm talking about, go ahead and put it in the comments below or take a guess. Okay, and as I give you more and more hints as we move along here, just take a shot at it. Let me know what stock you think it is in the comments. I'll reveal the stock at the end of the video. So you may or may not know, I invest a lot into the stock market. I'm always buying and selling stocks. I love the stock market. It's one of my favorite investments. Okay, that's one of my favorite little investment engines. I love real estate as well. I have tons of real estate. I flip real estate. I have long-term real estate investments. I have midterm, right? I'll keep condos on the beach for a couple years and sell them. I'll keep houses for a couple years and sell them. I'll keep houses for 30 years. I'll flip properties within a month. And I do the same thing with stocks. Sometimes I'll buy a stock with intentions of hanging on to it for 30 years. Sometimes I think to myself, okay, I'll keep this one a year or two. And some I'm like, I might sell this one a month. We'll see how it goes. But I have a strong seven figure stock portfolio and I throw money there every month. Okay, so, and I have a lot of cash on hand as well. Okay, in my stock portfolio account, I have a lot of cash on hand ready to buy. I have a lot invested. Now, my favorite stocks, okay, are, you know, traditional stocks, you know, the blue chips. I've got Apple, Amazon, Facebook. I've got Tesla. I've got Amazon. I've got AT&T. Uh, I've got ExxonMobil. Um, I've got a long list, huge list of different companies that I own. But this stock in particular is one of my long-term plays, okay? And I'm thinking five to ten years is really my play on this. We'll see what happens, you know, around the five or ten year mark, and I'll decide where I want to go with this. But I know for certain that this company is going to absolutely explode over the next five or 10 years. Okay, so I'll tell you that I bought 2,500 shares at $11. Okay, that was back on June 11th. Since then, I bought 750 shares at $15, 700 shares at $15, 550 shares at $18, 500 shares at $19, another 500 shares at $22, and another 500 shares at $32. So I've been buying this stock all the way up, and hey, it's gonna come back down, okay? The stock market goes up and down, sideways, left and right, back and forth, all right? And I'm looking for opportunities to buy in more. If it continues to go up, I'll just continue buying a little here, a little there. If it ever drops, I'll throw a lot of money at it. And this is one of those stocks that a lot of people out there are saying that, you know, this is a fad, <laughs> okay? That this is not gonna last, there's no way. They look at the model and they think, no, there's no way that that's gonna last. However, okay, as time goes on, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna break this thing down. I'm gonna get into the numbers of this company a little bit and show you why this company is not going anywhere. It's gonna to continue to crush the competition, okay, and it's gonna dominate that industry. Okay, now let me get into the numbers for this incredible company. And I'm gonna go ahead and reveal it. If you guessed EXPI, EXP World Holdings, Okay, it's the holding company for EXP Realty. They own several other companies. They have acquired several companies, all right? And this company is here to stay. Let me run through a couple of these numbers for you. Okay, first off, the market cap for EXP World Holdings right now is 1.8 billion. Okay, we're getting close to 2 billion. Remax is at 1.1 billion, somewhere around there. Okay, so they've already almost doubled the market cap of Remax, come on. The second most interesting thing about EXP is that in the fourth quarter of 2019, they turned their first profit as a company, okay? They are now profitable, and they've hit a profit every quarter since, okay? So they are a profitable company, unlike Zillow, Uber, some of these other companies who have never turned a profit, okay? So they have profit, okay? They are a profitable company, 
and they have zero debt. Okay, zero debt. And they have close to $70 million in the bank. Okay, so you have a profitable company. Okay, you have $70 million in the bank and zero debt. They also just acquired Showcase IDX. Okay, they already acquired Virabella, which was the virtual world that they operate under. They just went ahead and bought the company. They also own title companies and mortgage companies. This company is the Amazon of real estate. They are just gobbling up companies and market share. Okay, now this is something that I think is very interesting and this is why I decided to put 100,000 into EXPI several months ago. Okay, and I'm gonna to continue to put money in as much as possible over the next five to 10 years. I would love to have a million of my cash in EXPI. Um, but here's, here's something that I find that's just super interesting about the growth trajectory of this company, and that is this. Okay, it took them nine years. They were founded in 2009. It took them nine years to get to 12,000 agents. And in just the last 18 months, they added another 20,000. Okay, so they grew another 20,000. There are 32,000 agents right now. Okay, now when you look at this graph, this graph shows how correlated the number of agents and their company's revenue is. Okay, if you see that orange line is the number of agents and the blue bars are quarter by quarter revenue. With the growth that they're on right now, the, the path of the growth right this second, with 32,000 agents growing by 20,000 the last 18 months, where do you think they're headed? It's not a, it's, it, this is this is not a, a big secret. This is nothing that uh, um, you know. This is not. A, I'm just wondering if this might happen. No, this is happening. Okay, and over the next two and a half years, they'll be the largest real estate brokerage in the world. Okay, they're going to surpass all the other guys. When they get to 130,000, they'll be right there with Remax and KW, and then what's gonna happen? They're gonna blow past them and just keep on going. And speaking of the world, okay, they just announced by the end of this year, they're gonna open up in four new countries. So right now we're in the United States, Canada, UK, and Australia, okay? By the end of the year, they're gonna be in India, France, South Africa, and Mexico. What do you think they're gonna do next year? They're gonna open up in more countries and it's gonna to continue to spread. I'm gonna link a deck below that gives you a lot more details on where the company is right now, everything that they have going on. But guys, it is still very early for this company. They have so much room to go. Okay, when you think about just the US, they have 32,000 agents within US, Canada, UK, and Australia right now. Okay, there's 1.2 million agents just in the US, much less Canada, UK, and Australia, the four other countries that are opening by the end of this year, all the other countries are gonna open up in the future. So much room to grow. I'm gonna do another video right now after I film this one. It's gonna be in my first five months at EXP. I'm gonna tell you everything about my journey so far. And if you notice, I haven't done a single piece of content around EXP at all since I joined EXP. Okay, but this is just too good. I have to share <laughs> these first five months and everything that's happened and the position that I'm in is absolutely incredible. This is not one of those too good to be true scenarios. I thought the same thing. However, when you get in there and you understand what's going on on the backside, you know, inside the company, you realize, wow, this is by far the best company out there, light years ahead of every other company, period. I'm gonna link another video below about joining my team. If you're interested in that, I kind of break down what it's like to join my team and a little bit about the, the model of EXP. And if you wanna get on a call with me or if there's anything I can do to help answer any questions, just email me, ricky at zero to diamond.com or hit me up on Instagram at Ricky Carruth where I answer every single DM. Okay guys, keep crushing it. I'll see you on the next video. Let's go.